Hey what's up guys welcome back to another update tutorial in today's tutorial i will show you how to create this liquid effect so let's get started okay guys you guys can download this update start file from the link in the description and okay guys i have these four layers and the top one is the outline and the highlight second one is the liquid layer and the third one is the flask and fourth one is the background now i'm gonna just add a new shape layer for the liquid okay i'm gonna go to toolbar and select the rectangle tool i will only go with a fill without any stroke okay just open this and i will select this exact yellow color okay if you guys want different color you guys can just choose from here and i'm gonna just hit okay like that now i'm gonna just draw this shape like this and then press ctrl or home on my keyboard to reset the anchor point just like that okay and i'm gonna just call this liquid so let's press enter and then type liquid fx i will place it below the outline and highlight layer and then i'm gonna just delete this original liquid layer we don't need that okay i'm gonna just select this liquid fx and then go to windows and select this effect and preset I already enabled it so i'm gonna go here and search for the warp effect just like that i'm gonna just double click to apply it and then go to effect control and increase the wave width just like that i'm gonna set this to maybe 210 like that let's also increase the wave height something around here okay now if you press the space bar as you can see you will have this wave animation i'm gonna go to four second mark and then press n on my keyboard to in the composition here like that okay now let's duplicate this liquid fx layer so i'm gonna select this and ctrl d to duplicate and i will set the direction to minus 90 so it will go counterclockwise okay like that and i will also set the color a little bit dark so we can get that depth like that and i will place it below the liquid fx layer okay so that layer in the back okay now if you check the animation you will have this and i will also just set the timing like that you have to just offset a bit to get that perfect timing like that let's see yeah looks pretty cool now i'm gonna just also just place it a little bit up and the liquid effects layer a little bit down so we can see that depth okay now i'm gonna just select this liquid effects and go to effect and preset and search for set matte effect and i'm gonna just double click on the set matte effect now let's set the take matte from layer flask now select this effect and press ctrl c to copy it now go to liquid effects 2 and then press ctrl v on your keyboard to paste it now if you check the animation you should have this animation as you can see it's really easy to create this liquid effect now you can also just offset the layer just like i said before to get a perfect looking liquid i think that looks pretty cool okay i will stick with this one and now we need to add a little bit of realism we can add bubbles so i'm gonna just create a new solid right click new solid and let's go with these particles and i will go with this depot setting and hit ok now let's go to effect and preset and search for form effect as you can see it's just outline we can just fix it by using this view to render now you can get this nice looking bubbles now i'm gonna open the producer and then let's just set the producer point a little bit down like that okay for now i will go with this draft view now i'm gonna just open the bubble layer and then let's decrease the size of this bubble layers so we have small bubbles like this now let's go back to rendered view as you can see now i'm gonna just go to one second mark and we have this lifespan so i'm gonna create a keyframe for the lifespan and i will set this to 700 let's go a few frame forward and then set this to zero now bubbles will start and then disappear like that okay okay perfect i will also just put the point a little bit down and then let's go to physics and then increase the turbulence a little bit also initial speed so it will go upwards like that okay perfect you have to little bit go back and forth okay to get the best result and i think this looks pretty cool yeah now guys i'm gonna just close this up and now let's add some solid color for this bubble so i'm gonna just add a fill this one and set the bubble color to white and then search for curve effect i'm gonna just double click and then let's set this curve like this so we have this solid fill color now i'm gonna just add 
that set mat effect so i'm gonna search for set mat and set the take mat from layer to our liquid effects so it only appear in the liquid okay set this to effect and mask you can go back to form effect and then reduce the bubble size like that i will set this particle layer below the outline and highlight layer okay and yeah and that's basically it that's how you create this liquid effect in after it as always thank you so much for the patreon supporters i will see you guys in the next one peace